Hello everyone, this is Bowen. Um, today I'm going to present the course project for the EEL 6935 Network Science and Application. My project title is Social Network Analysis and its Application on Digital Marketing and Decision Making. So speaking of social network analysis, one might ask, um, why are we doing this and who are we doing this for? Uh, we are doing this because we live in a complex network where everyone and everything has its own network topology. And the ties between them are becoming even more complicated and closer. So how can we use the proper information to benefit for our lives is a good question. The reason why I choose this topic is that Currently, people tend to believe that um, what their peers words rather than advertisements or someone who is less similar to them because of the feeling of consent. We need to have a good supportive, practical, and precise approach to address our marketing problem rather than randomly spreading people with ads and flyers or spam emails. And most importantly, the best strategy is to let the words spread rather than the other way around. The situation today is that we have a um, huge amount of information but very limited practical approaches to analyze and understand them. And this unbalanced situation leaves a big question mark in our head. That is, we have no clue where the information is being spread from where and how. The company has no clue to find out who are the potential customers. And so we got random advertisements which are not what we need most of the time. Indeed, information itself is inspiring. However, when we are facing terabyte or petabyte number of data, we are overwhelmed by information. And these information may well likely to be counterproductive to our work and life. So, in order to address this issue, I propose a social network analysis scheme aiming at finding the source or um, the center of a given network, i.e. the consumer network, that is, in real life, find the right groups of people to marketing the products. But here are some related work of the most commonly used existing approaches on network analysis. So there are no degree approach and short path method. Um, and of course, there are other methods as well. Um, the drawbacks of these methods are mainly uh, falls into two categories. One is accuracy and the other is complexity. So um, here is what I proposed here, um, which is both accurate and with minimum complexity as possible. So let's look at the designed architecture. So this is called WSS Word Spread Source Model. There are three stages, and before the first stage, we have a preparatory work to do, which is to first find out the total number of the customers, to find out the particular customer's network, their relationship with others, and then we can form a network, network graph to begin the analysis. So once we um, start the analysis, the first stage here is to identify the popular nodes using the node degree approach. So what it does is it looks the network and find out who is the most popular node in the network. That is, um, it has the most edges and links to other nodes. The second stage is to identify the critical nodes. 
that is to identify the node impact. So what we do here is to use the betweenness centrality. So the betweenness centrality can identify um, if the node connects to other groups of community. So um, if the node can connects to two or three different groups, two different two or three different of communities, then this is a critical node because it has between its relationship with um, versatile groups. So the final stage is the WSS nodes result, which it summarizes the results of the it it gives an output of a list of nodes that is both or either popular or critical or both. So that's the group of target that we should aim at. So let's first look at the preparatory work. Um, in the given graph, we can um, uh, to get our network analysis started, we should first uh, get to know the total number of our customers. There are several ways to find out. Uh, one is to use the membership. That's a very good way to to calculate the total number. Another way is loyalty promotion, uh, which um, usually um, have some products attract the old customer pack, so we can calculate it. Um, so the second one is customers own network. To find out their own network, um, we can use the recommendation promotion. That is, um, if a customer is our membership, uh, is in our membership, we can uh, have this promotion to ask them to invite their friends. So this is a very good way to find um, the relationship of the existing customers and the potential customers. Another um, way we can do is to doing survey. That's kind of equivalent to find out their own network. So um, if we gather all this information, we can form a network graph. It's like the right hand side, this one. So let's talk about the algorithm. So the social network is different from networks of what we see before such as exponential networks. Exponential decays um, goes to zero much faster than power law distribution. So um, network social network is heavy tail network and follows power law distribution. It has very nice property that it um, it exists super nodes so that some nodes may become very significant which is also a typical structure of small world model where the super nodes are of great importance in the graph. So if we take a look at these, these three graphs, we can see that um, the left one has the most highest node degree, which is 7 because it connects to um, because the um, compared to other graphs, the actors, uh, the center actors have the most ties um, compared to others. So it is the most important one um, from the no degree perspective. So the way we detect um, the highest degree vertices is to the formula below. As we can see in the here, um, in the given graph G, the vertices V has the highest node degree, which is 3. The others have 2 or 1, which are all lower than V. So here V is the popular vertices. Uh, where here v, uh, W is the WSS model score, 
we measure any two nodes V and J to see which one has a higher node degree. Now let's look at the results of the critical node detection. The critical node detection we use between us centrally to detect it. So here um, the between us of the centrally equals the summation of the number the, the number of actors node i is on and divided by the number of geodesics connecting jk. So we introduce the between us to measure the extent to which a vertex, a vertex is located between other pairs of vertices. So this is a very good way to detect um, a vertices, a node that locating between two communities. The critical node detection is based on the betweenness principle. So here um, on the left hand side the center one is again the most important because it connects to everyone and the middle um, um, previously the no degree um, detection it cannot detect the center one which labeled the 0.73 on um, between the centrality score um, but here you can detect it because it connect it plays a vital role to connect the three community so um, this note stand out and we also regard this um, as critical nodes although it is not um, a highest de node degree and the right hand side one has equally the same so the reason why this model will work is because a high node degree in social network, which is a uh, which is a direct way to show the densely edges to others, is equivalent to popularity. If a node has more edges than its peers, we value it as an important one because it serves as a super node in the social network that has the ability to reach out to more people than others. Therefore, it is, a, it is an efficient approach to seek for the rich um, relationship nodes. Now, one of the property of the social network is that it is robust against random attacks, but fragile against intentional attacks. If some other companies also target at the same groups of people, the whole network structure will go to the that which will go to the competitors and therefore um, by applying the proposed scheme we can able to we are able to identify the most important customers to the company and intend to make sure they are loyalty the practical value of this approach is that it serves to be extended to other areas as long as it follows social network structure So here, the word spreading source model um, have um, the pros have three points. One is accurate to apply on social network analysis, which is true. And second one is complexity is low, and so the computation is very efficient. And third, um, it reduces costs and improves efficiency in real life because we narrow down our targets from all the population, all the potential customers to the most important one and let the word spread out. The cons here is that it is difficult to get detailed customer information and thus it is very hard to form a consumer network graph. So here are the code um, that the network um, created from Payak. This is a .NET, which is a random network. 
and this is for null degree um, detection and this one is null between is centrally um, analysis which we find out all the critical points. So finally, um, there's some future work. One is um, to do a simulation of tracing back and replaying how long does it take, how fast to recover a population over a million. And also in the future, we can apply supervised learning techniques in the algorithm um, because the algorithm itself needs to be up updated with more details information and um, on the other hand uh, the key person may drift to other nodes and therefore we need to keep track of the log and update it in the system to keep the algorithm works as we expected so the main contribution here is um, the proposed and efficient and practical approach WSS and uh, we maximize the impact of advertisements here um, or the marketing approach and yes it is a beautiful yet challenging journey to continue pursuing thank you